A pipe wrench is designed to be used on soft piping, like black pipe. The pipe wrench has an adjustable jaw that lets you work on a variety of pipe sizes. The jaws of a pipe wrench also have sharp teeth which give it a better grip on pipes. The pipe wrench has four parts, the handle, the adjustable nut, the fixed jaw, and the adjustable jaw. You can see each section in the image to the right. You hold the pipe wrench at the end of the handle for maximum leverage. The adjustable nut is a rotating dial that you twist to increase or decrease the size of the jaws. All pipe wrenches have a fixed jaw and an adjustable jaw. The fixed jaw does not move. It is fixed into one position. The adjustable jaw will move up and down as you rotate the adjustable nut. The adjustable jaw also has a rocker built into the jaw. The rocker allows the fixed jaw to hook onto pipe. It also allows you to easily reposition the jaw. A pipe wrench has an adjustment nut that moves the jaws closer or farther apart. Move the adjustable nut clockwise to bring the jaws closer together. Move the adjustable nut counterclockwise to move the jaws farther apart. A pipe wrench is used for tightening or loosening piping. The sharp teeth on a pipe wrench give you extra grip as you rotate the wrench. Pipe wrenches are longer than other wrench types. The longer wrench provides more leverage. To use a pipe wrench, start by rotating the adjustment nut until the pipe jaws are slightly larger than the pipe. Place the pipe in between the jaws. The pipe should not be touching the back of the jaw. You can see an example of proper contact in the image to the right. Rotate the adjustment nut until the pipe jaws are lightly biting into the soft pipe. When using a pipe wrench, you want the force to go into the fixed jaw. To do this, the opening in the jaws should be facing in the direction you will rotate the wrench. For example, in the image to the right you want to rotate the handle clockwise. If you rotate the handle clockwise, you will be moving in the direction of the open jaws. If you try to rotate the pipe wrench in the wrong direction, the rocker will unhook the wrench. Like with other wrenches, always position yourself so that you pull the wrench towards you. Pulling the handle towards you is safer and prevents smashing your knuckles into objects. Rotating the wrench clockwise will tighten the pipe. Counterclockwise will loosen the pipe. Once you have rotated the pipe, you can bring the pipe back to the starting position. Similar to the socket wrench, the adjustable jaw on the pipe wrench only pulls in one direction. This allows you to easily make multiple turns of the wrench without having to remove the wrench from the piping. Once the pipe is loosened, we need to remove the pipe wrench from the pipe. Press down on the adjustment nut and the adjustable jaw will loosen from the pipe. Pull the pipe wrench away from the pipe. When you are using a pipe wrench, you must be careful what material you place the wrench on. The teeth of the pipe wrench can damage softer materials like brass. The teeth can also damage pipe threading, nuts, bolts, and other fasteners. Using two pipe wrenches might be necessary when connecting two free-moving pieces of pipe. One wrench is used to hold one piece of piping in place. The other wrench is used to tighten or loosen the other pipe. In the image to the right, you can see two pipe wrenches. One wrench is on a T-union. The other wrench is on black piping. The wrench on the T-union prevents the union from moving. The wrench on the piping will be rotated to loosen the pipe. To tighten the two pipes together, move the pipe wrench that is closest to you clockwise and the other wrench counterclockwise. To loosen the two pipes, move the pipe wrench that is closest to you counterclockwise and the other wrench clockwise. When choosing a pipe wrench, pick one that is suitable for the pipe you are working with. A pipe wrench that is too large is harder to turn and can damage smaller pipe. A pipe wrench that is too small will not have the grip to turn larger pipes. There are multiple types of wrenches specifically made for certain types of jobs. 
In this module, you learn about Allen wrenches and pipe wrenches. Allen wrenches have two positions. The short lever position gives you more leverage. The pipe wrench is used to tighten or loosen piping. Do not use the pipe wrench on brass fittings, bolts, nuts, or threading.